What's going on, everyone? It's RGB here again. And finally, Realme has started rolling out the latest Realme UI 7 update to its supported devices. Here, I have already updated this phone to the latest version. There are a lot of changes in the UI. I'll show you in this video. As if, still if you didn't receive any update notification, just simply go to Settings. You can check for the system update. And same just like Color OS 16 and Oxygen OS 16, and this version is pretty much the same. As always, here it comes with a very detailed update log. You can see the software build version 16. And in this update, Realme didn't hold back this time. But what really matters is how these upgrades actually feel when you start using the phone. This update brings noticeable improvements in user experience, design, some new AI features, new flex motion framework that will completely change the UI animations, making the phone even smoother in animations, seamless transitions, and there are a lot of major changes they have made, like in app management, focusing more on performance and system intelligence. So this is not just a long list of new features. You can clearly feel the difference in real usage, especially with smoother UI, smarter with AI and resource handling, and better battery life. And in this video, I'll be showing all these changes on my Realme GT7 Pro. Well, you already know about this phone, powered by 8 Elite Gen 4 processor. And this is 16GB RAM version. But is it enough to make Realme UI stand out? Let me show you all that in this video. Now, let's first start with user experience. Here, definitely after this update, you'll feel the UI smoothness, as they worked more on flex motion framework, the changes in UI, the theme, and everything. The app drawer also got changed. On bottom, you got search bar. Apart from that, you also do have the categories section, which basically is auto-categorized into different kinds of apps or games into similar folders like social, tools, photography in a way. And this looks very similar to what we have seen on the iOS, which has been doing for a while now. And if we go to home screen, you can see the app opening animation, which is buttery smooth and fast in transitions. And here, the recent apps transition. Here, the glass button design, which is similar to in the iOS. It's really smooth. Now let's go to quick panel, and it almost looks the same with the theme. And let's also take a look at the lock screen. As you can see, the lock screen icons got changed to glassy. And the lock screen. So anyway, let's go to settings, to home screen and lock screen style. Here we have new flex themes. Let's go to it. We got new Realme UI dynamic wallpapers. All right, it's looking good. And let's open this one. And for me, this one looks really great. You can set the depth effect to the time. You can change the style of the wallpaper based on your preference, or you can set another wallpaper. So let's try with this one. Okay, fine, the depth effect got created here. Or if you want, you can change the clock styles or any other info on clock. And clock color and size of the clock based on you prefer. And if you are okay with the wallpaper, simply apply it. That's it, and it looks really great to be honest. The depth effect, the wallpaper animations look really amazing. Like in similar way, you can also customize the home screen based on you want. You can change icons, you already know about it. We have transparent icons. You can customize the icon size, shape you want. Also, the flex icons, which will match with the current theme wallpaper, similar to what we have seen on iOS. And better, you can also try with other wallpapers too. They look amazing. Still, I like these classic ones with a glassy theme effect. Blue color also looks good. And this one. And I also like this one, the grayish tone. Now let's go to Always On Display. Well, you already know about this feature. Almost look the same. Or you can set the full screen one similar to what we have seen on iPhones. It gets dimmed. But I'm not sure if it may consume battery. So for me, the pure classic one is better and save more battery. You can even personalize the always-on faces based on you prefer, like the Realme cat face, or like others based on your preference. Now let's go to icons. So, I have already shown this part during wallpaper customizations. Let's go to font. It's pretty much the same like we've seen before. And if we go to more, 
we have extra additional customization. It's almost the same as before. Like the UI theme will set colors based on the wallpaper. You can toggle the quick settings. You can customize the fingerprint animations. It's pretty much the same. Edge lighting effect. You already know about it. And texture blur and system UI, which is enabled by default. And now let's go to home screen settings. And here they added new frosted glass effect. You can enable home screen bar background and even to home screen folders, which is similar to the iOS. And the home screen bar glass layout, which looks okay. You can also change the transition effects on home screen, which you already know about it. While we swipe left or right on screen, the effect will be noticed and very smooth. And one more thing to mention, like you can even customize the quick settings panel. So by default, it looks normal with blur background and icons. But if you turn on transparency, and there we go, this is the new look. The glassy icons, which almost look similar to an iOS liquid glass theme. And it exactly looked the same, but still, it needs to be more polished. But the iOS is even more like, it looks more real with glass. And here you can even customize the quick toggles, size or resize it based on your preference. Again, it looks the same like on the iPhones. Let's also check out the volume UI, and it looks fine. And to be honest, I really love this transition effect. So on home screen, you can even resize or expand the app icon, just like a widget. You can create shortcuts into it. Like here, I'll add YouTube Shorts, search icon, or subscriptions to YouTube here. You can directly access to the things easily. Or you can even expand the widget here as shown. This is very adaptive. Or you can add contacts, or any other app you use it and expand on screen. Let's press and hold power key. Well, you can access to Gemini AI. Let's also take a look at power menu. And yes, it looks the same. And in the lock screen, here the numeric pad got redesigned to glass effect. You can also see the glow effect between buttons. Same also in the calculator app as well, just a small change. And let's also go to display settings. Almost everything will be the same as usual. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a separate video on this UI hidden tips and tricks. And now let's go to widgets section. Here they arranged all the system and app widgets in order. You can add the widget you want on the home screen. It's pretty much the same. I'll add this widget. You can even expand this widget as well. They also improved the edge panel transition. It very smooth with fast transition. You can set multiple shortcuts or apps in one or two columns to access them quickly. And in this update, they have improved the device connections. You can connect to multiple devices like TV, PC, or tablet, like it will sync between with your devices. Support Multi-Screen Connect allows you to control your phone from other existing devices. Now let's go to Battery. Go to Power Saving Settings, and here they added new app quick freeze option to automatically freeze the idle apps, which no longer use the power to save more battery. And all other things remain the same as usual. Also, in battery health, it's same as usual. There's also a dedicated AI section. That actually groups all of the AI features together. We have AI Voice Scribe, AI Camera, AI Smart Loop, and there are a couple of other AI integrated features even outside the system apps. And AI Voice Scribe feature, where you can able to record voice or meeting audio conversation to a transcript. Even Same also works on Notes app too. You can view generated summaries and captions on it. Here we have AI Assistant for Notes, or Same even available on other Office apps as well. You can elaborate the notes. Create summaries in short words. Or polish the text on notes, which is very useful. This works on all different languages which are available. So you can check it out. In AI Camera, they added AI Telescope Zoom to enhance more details, improve the clarity of the image. Even if you captured the photo up to 120x Zoom. And here we have AI Smart Loop, which you can able to touch and hold any image or text video, or any file to bring to the AI loop. For sample, here I'll drag and drop the image onto this loop for quick share or copy it to other app or a clipboard. In Photos app, they integrated a lot of AI features here. You can generate or add image by prompt. Let's say I want to add a dog on this image. 
it will start to think and analyze the image data. So here the prompt got generated. Now let's execute. And all right, it added the dog in the image. And it's so accurate and clear. You can also compare the before and after results of the image. And there are a couple of more AI features in Edit option. Go to AI Editor. You can erase or remove the people or objects from the image. We have AI Recompose option, which will adjust the image with the best composition. You can enhance the clarity. Sketch to image feature. So, let's draw something over here. And there we go. As expected, the bike got generated. And these are some couple of useful AI editor features. And the revamped video editor now finally feels like a modern video editor, just like how you would have on, say, the Edits app from Instagram. And there's also a feature. You can also try with screen off gestures. Draw a circle to open camera. Or the V gesture to on torch, or even with other ones, which is pretty useful. And finally, you all know about it, the dynamic island. It still works the same. Even if you run a timer, or even with music playback, you can quickly access to it. And like as always, if you've already updated your device, let me know your experience in the comments. How does it feel on your phone? Drop a like and subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.